Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the ultra rare Belgian issued Ottoman 1893 Mauser. So you're probably wondering, how did an Ottoman Mauser end up in Belgian military use? Well, to answer that question, we're gonna go into the history behind this rifle. So as you probably know, the British invaded the Ottoman Empire um, quite a few times in World War I. Um, there's about five major campaigns that happened. The Gallipoli and the uh, Mesopotamian campaigns sort of being the biggest of those, of those five. The British captured a lot of arms during their you know, invasions and you know, especially in the Mesopotamian and other campaigns, the, the British you know, were on the winning side of this, of this conflict. And so they captured a lot of Ottoman guns. Now, pretty much everybody in World War I were having arm shortages. So if you have an arm shortage and you capture a bunch of enemy arms, you know, waste not, want not. So the, the British, they captured these guns and they brought them back to Europe. So somewhere along the line, people connected the dots that the Ottoman Empire and the Belgians used the same caliber. That's the 7.65 Mauser cartridge. They both used the same cartridge and they even both used the same stripper clips because the stripper clips on the Ottoman 1893s and Ottoman 1890s and the Belgian 1889s are the same style stripper clip and they're not compatible with the 1893s and the German 1898s. So because of this ammo and stripper clip compatibility, the British handed over a lot of these guns to the Belgians. And of course, when the Belgians get these guns, there's a couple things about them that they, that they need to change, uh, namely the rear sights. So they can't read the rear sights. So that was one of the major things that they had to change. So they implemented this little uh, sort of re-arsenal program for these rifles. For the Belgians, they re-serial numbered these guns. They put serial numbers on a few of the major parts. Um, they changed out the rear sights and then they pretty much just um, handed these off to the troops. There's a few pictures of uh, Belgian troops with these uh, Ottoman rifles. There's a pretty good one I'll show right here of uh, Belgian troops with uh, Ottoman 1893s. And uh, it's just a pretty interesting happenstance that the Belgians used the same ammunition and, and stripper clips so they were able to use these in the war. So this is 1895 dated um, 7.65 ammunition. Uh, and this is on the original, um, it is kind of uh, blemished here. You can kind of tell better on this side. Uh, this is one of the smooth-sided early uh, pre-Mauser 93 style stripper clips. Uh, so this is a stripper clip style that the Ottomans stuck with, and it's the style of stripper clip that the Belgians would have had. And you can see how this just fits and it'll feed uh, just fine into the rifle. However, the, uh, the newer style, the newer one that was um, adopted with the Spanish 1893, um, won't really fit. This bridge here is just too narrow. Um, this wider uh, 93 style stripper clip will not fit in this. So the Belgians redid the rear sights and here we can see that they uh, changed the, the numbers to numbers that the Belgians could read. Uh, this is pretty interesting uh, rear sight design. But uh, this is probably one of the biggest uh, giveaways that this rifle is a Belgian issued rifle. So here on the left side of the receiver, we can see the serial number that the Belgians added the 1037, which is uh, above the original serial number. And then just to the left of that here, we can see in, in this corner, it's a tiny little Belgian proof marking. And that was done because these guns were proofed by the Belgians before they entered military service. And then we'll find this serial number all over the rifle. 1037, 1037, 1037, and here on the butt plate, 1037. So of course the biggest difference with the Ottoman is the addition of this magazine cutoff here on the side. Um, another thing is that the magazine floor plate on the Ottoman 1893 tends to stick out a little bit more than the uh, Spanish 1893. So um, it's not exactly a pop belly sort of mag protrusion, but it's definitely a, uh, you know, after Thanksgiving sort of belly protrusion there. And of course the bolts on the Spanish and Ottoman 93s are just pretty much identical. Now I wish I was able to tell if maybe these guns you know, saw action like in Flanders or something against the, the Germans, but it's quite interesting because this is one of those rare times when a German made Mauser rifle could have possibly fought against German troops. So this is just a really interesting piece of history here. I picked this up at the Tulsa Wanamaker Arms Show in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. 
And uh, that is quite the show. If you are anywhere close to there, or if you can buy a plane ticket or something like that, that is, if you're a gun guy, you got to put that show on your on your bucket list. It is, it is quite the show. Now, I was told by somebody who knows a lot more about Mausers than I do um, that the numbers of these Belgian-issued 1893s that exist in the world is probably in the single digits. Um, this might be the only one or one of only a handful of these guns in the United States. So to wrap off today's video with a joke, what is the sluttiest gun? It's the man liquor. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.